hi children i hope you people have watched the videos what it was given on the last class today we are getting into the chapter human body so you know very well about human body because in grade 2 itself you people studied what are all the parts of the body what are all the internal organs external organs everything now in grade 3 we are going to see somewhat in detail today first we will start with the introduction in introduction we are going to cover parts of the body levels of organization it's a new heading for you levels of organization within that we are going to see cells tissues organs organ systems in detail we are going to see about these terms at last we are going to see about the functions of all the things that is cells tissues organs and organ systems see so many different types of cells are there in our body different types of tissues as well as so many organs either internal or external both we are having so we are going to see in detail first see parts of the body from your lower class from your kg itself you are studying parts of the body now we are going to separate the parts of the body into external and internal so what are the external parts of the body the term ex x meaning the external source the exterior which can able to see with our eyes those are the external organs so external parts of the body are head shoulder stomach hand thigh calf heel foot neck chest elbow arm finger fingernail knee toe toenail so these are the external parts of the body what do you mean by internal parts of the body the internal parts of the body are brain which is located at the top of the head then heart stomach kidneys bladder the bladder here represents urinary bladder i hope you are seeing somewhat clear urinary bladder intestines liver lungs thyroid so these are the organs which are present inside our body other than these bones are there muscles are also present okay so these are the internal organs that is internal parts of the body so now we have studied external and internal internal meaning inside our body external meaning exterior which is present outside the body is called external parts of the body levels of organization what do you mean by levels of organization here two pictures were given one is a man standing and another one is a building now we are going to compare our human body with that building so levels of organization meaning how our human body is made up of we know that we are, we are having so many organs so we can say human body is made up of organs eyes ears nose okay but in detail there are beyond the organs what are these organs are made up of that is the question so just compare with the building so that we can easily understand first human body is made up of cells our human body is made up of what cells see to construct a building first of all we need bricks isn't it or not so that's what big picture was given here like that to make our body the human body is made up of cells a building or a house or whatever it is it is made up of what bricks like that our human body is made up of what cells so the basic unit of our human body is nothing but cells the basic unit the basic functional unit of our human body is what ma cells the next term is tissues next term is what tissues so cells you have to imagine like a bricks if we arrange the bricks in layers that is called what tissues see if you want to construct a building 
we are having bricks next what we have to do we have to arrange the bricks then only we have to make a wall then we can make a room then when we it should be complete isn't it or not like that the arrangement of cells that is group of cells join together to form what tissues so in this picture you can see numerous cells in layer wise isn't it or not so these are all these cells here how the bricks are arranged like that the cells are arranged here so what do you mean by tissue group of cells are called tissue group of cells form together tissue okay va the next term is organ okay now the walls are ready now we have to make a room now the room is ready so like that the tissues so many tissues here we have seen a tissue seeing some layer of tissue like that so many layers of tissues joined to together to form organ so here different types of organs were given heart liver kidneys uterus lungs bones pancreas bladder stomach small and large intestine brain teeth okay see of uh, first we have to need the bricks to construct the building then layer of uh, walls are ready now the walls join together to form a room like that cells join together to form tissues more number of tissues join together that is group of tissues that is called organ the next one is organ system so so many number of rooms for example to build a house we need a bedroom bathroom kitchen dining hall uh, a living room so many things isn't it or not like that different organs join together to form the organ system that is the whole building here a whole human body so this is called level of organization cells tissues organ organ system at last we are human body the whole human body the organism is produced so the basic unit of human body is what cells cells are the basic structural and functional unit of our body cells join together to form tissues tissues join together to form organs organs join together to form organ system here one example was given see in our body don't think that we are having only same type of cells we are having different types of cells different tissues different organs and different organ system too okay here one example muscle cell was given one muscle cell is given then lot of muscle cells form together just that is called muscle tissue like that so many muscle tissues form the organ heart because heart is full of muscles only so here the cells which is present in the heart is muscle cells so the muscle cells join together to form the heart the heart what is the function to pump the blood to all parts of our body isn't it the heart is located in our chest region but what is its function it can able to pump the blood send the blood transport the blood to all parts of our body that is called circulatory system at last this circulatory system do you think only we are having this circulatory system no so many different systems are there so many different organ systems are in our body all these organ systems constitute the organism human body okay here one example was given muscle cell so what do you mean by levels of organization cells tissue cells join to form tissues tissues join together to form organ organs join together to form organ system and all the organ system in our body constitute the human body i hope you have understand so watch the video again and learn the terms thoroughly cell tissue organ organ system organization so the terms are all very important okay va and one more video i have given the link just watch the video and learn the terms thoroughly thank you we will see in next class